Today we're going to be tying a fly that is a caddis pattern that I call the all-purpose caddis. I did not develop the basic technique for this fly. Uh, someone else did and I applaud them for their um, astute realization that uh, it's a, for a dry fly the size and silhouette are key and this fly does it. Uh, I like it because it's a very uh, quick and easy caddis tie. It works great. Uh, I would just refer to the other video, but uh, steps are similar, but I make several key changes. Uh, one key change that I make is that after the hackle is pommered on, I don't trim off the bottom. I want that hackle to hang down and appear like legs in the water since the caddis does have legs. The second thing is to achieve the correct body color, I usually do not use dubbing as they do. I use a marker to color um, the body to uh, the color I want. Um, and I found that's the least important part of this fly. Again, is if you hold a fly up to the light, uh, you can't discern color well and neither can a trout. So it's size and silhouette is the key. With that, I'll get started. Today I'll be using a light tan thread. And I use that, one, because it matches uh, pretty much the color of the uh, body of the elk hair I'll be using. And second of all, because it's light, as you see later, I can actually color the thread um, to, uh, to change its appearance, particularly on the head. So I'll start by doing a traditional wrap to the rear of the fly. And I'll come back forward real quickly to where I'm going to tie in the elk hair. Next thing I do, I just have a shank of elk hair here. So I'll take what I think is a hunk large enough off of there to when when tied down to be the size of the body uh, abdomen of the caddis I'm tying. Now there's my hunk as I get it up there. And I'll just slightly take my hands uh, in one hand and a little even up the wings. I don't use the hair stacker uh, and the main reason I don't use the hair stacker is, is because the caddis wing doesn't uh, end abruptly like you would have in a hair stacker and this kind of adds a taper to it. What I'll do is I'll measure the length of the hook shank and I'll move and I'll, I'll move the elk hair to the rear of that one half a length. Then I'll do a pinch wrap, which is a loose wrap down, come up, pull tight, and then some tight wraps. Uh, a thing, a problem I have here, and I'll caution you against, is tying that so it's too close to the head. Okay. Now I take loose wraps around the body, coming to the rear. And once I'm to the rear, then I'll make some tight wraps. The reason I do that is because I don't want to crush all the air out of uh, the elk hair or whatever type of hair you're using because I want that flotation. Next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and trim the head off. Now I could leave it and trim it off here to have like many elk hair caddises are tied and I'll go ahead and do that so I've got a nice big hair head profile. I could also trim that off close and finish that head with a thread collar if I want. My next step is to get appropriate sized hackle and I like my hackle to be hook shank length because that's if you look at a caddis you'll see that the legs are pretty big on the things and you definitely want them extending down the water. I'll pew back a little bit of the caddis shank and then back here at the rear I'll take several pretty tight ties because I don't want that to pull them out. Okay. Then I'll do a very loose turn to the front, coming under the head and around. And so there's a basic caddis. Now if I were making just a tan caddis, that would be all that I need. But I want to demonstrate uh, different techniques. I'm going to make it a darker brown caddis. I could make it an orange caddis. I could make it a dark green. I could make it a fluorescent. But I'll take a magic marker 
and just darken this thing up a little bit. I could make it darker with a different marker, but I just want to show the technique here. of this fly. Okay, now you can see it's slightly darker. And in fact, just to show you more abruptly, I'll take something even darker and go over that uh, just to, to show you uh, what you can do. Uh, you can make it, you know, any color that you can find a marker. And we're going to, you know, I can put some blue on there as I've done there. I can uh, easily uh, it's kind of too late to go lighter on yellow, but I could turn that into a real dark looking caddis if I wanted to. Uh, it's just whatever you desire that body color to be. And you can go to your local Hobby Lobby and they have these type of pens, uh, and especially the ones with the broad and thin tip, artist pens, and you can get about any color you want. Now a trick I saw on YouTube is I'm going to take about six more wraps here because as I use my rotary vise to wind that hackle on, well, I just have to start all over there because I just uh, pulled my hackle out. So what I'll do is you'll get to see a fix in action here. I'll put an extra tight. Now I'll do that light wind up here, come under the head one time just to help lock that in. Go ahead and do about five or six more, and now I'll wind the hackle up. You can see this thing actually looks multicolor. You can do it with anything with the body you want. So I'll come up, come up behind that head, go ahead and trap that off. Now I can go ahead and Clip the hackle off, lay it aside, and now you can uh, finish that head um, practically any way you want. I'll start off right now with just a half hitch to lock that down, and now I got plenty of room to put on a half hitch. And a whip finish. I find that a half hitch and a, whip, uh, and a three turn whip finish or two three turn whip finishes is all I need. I don't use head cement and the primary reason I do not use head cement is that uh, I tend to always seem to get it in the eye and I get on the stream and I get in a hurry and I'm trying to fly on all of a sudden I got to mess with that. Okay good I got that hair trimmed back away from that eye so it'll be easier to thread. But that's, that's the fly right there. And you say, my gosh, that doesn't look like a caddis. But if you look from the bottom straight up, here's what you see. You see the legs. You see uh, the abdomen shape. Because those uh, caddis wings are tight against the abdomen going back. And then as you pull that out here, you'll be able to see what is the image of the wing. The highly effective fly. I uh, use it, uh, I, in fact, initially I started using it just as a visible fly for fishing a dropper, and I had in such incredible luck on the, getting this fly hit that I then fished it in tandem with my elk hair caddis. I fished it in tandem with the Goddard, the several other varieties of caddis I have, and this outfloated and outfished them all. So it's a great little fly, easy to tie any colors you want, uh, and it'll bring you great success. Have a great day. Bye.